welcome back to one more video on the Linux series. In this video, we are going to talk about package managers in Linux. Package managers are uh, nothing but software application that will help the users to search, download, install, or uh, remove applications. So basically, they themselves are an application which will help you to install other applications in your Linux system. They also help you to upgrade your OS as well. It can be either a command line or graphical interface. It depends upon what kind of OS you are running. There are uh, so many different package managers which are relevant only to specific OS. For instance, Red Hat based ones has uh, Yum and Ubuntu Debian based ones have Apt and Arc Linux has uh, Pac-Man and uh, I don't know about the other ones. So these are the popular ones. So. And uh, this Linux series, uh, we are looking at uh, Alma Linux. It's a Red Hat based one. So obviously, we need to look at YAM. What is the full form of YAM? M stands for Yellow Dog Updater Modified. I know it sounds a uh, little bit uh, weird, but there is a small history behind it. There was a Linux, which is now uh, defunct called as uh, Yellow Dog Linux. Uh, it was uh, used for a long time and it had an updater. It had a package manager in itself, which is called as Yup. And now this modified version of this one is used in Red Hat Linux and thus the name Yum. And then we have another popular one, an advanced version of Yum, which is DNF. And uh, the full form of this is Dandified M. I know it doesn't make any sense. It, it sounds like uh, someone did not finish their job, then they decided to use this one. But anyhow, the name is Dandified M. It's an updated version of M. So we will be looking at M and DNF in this video. Let's go ahead. Uh, since my virtual machine is already running, let me open it up. We are looking at DNF. Before we start using DNF, or yum for that instance first and foremost thing that needs to be done is we need to ensure that our system that is the os the linux os itself is up to date all the patches are installed and updated the command line for uh, checking the update is dnf or yum followed by check update likewise after you check update this one is only going to check the update it will not install the update for you you can go ahead with update so you can check update which will only tell you what needs to be updated and then you can directly update also so these are the two things first we will look into let me try to type uh, dnf check update so there are a lot of things that needs to be installed it says that uh, from the base OS so many versions uh, for instance here for open ssh open ssl python 3 so many things has to be installed so these contains the up update available now to update them everything we can give dnf update that's it it will update everything in case you want to update only a specific package for instance you have curl you want to update only curl i will go with dnf update curl anything that is before the dot just pay attention here it is present previously now i am going to give dnf update curl so it says that to update curl it will also need live curl to be installed so it's a total of 580 kb i am giving y enter and there we go Let's again run. Let, let me clear the system and again run uh, DNF check update. This time it should not show me curl. It doesn't show me curl anymore because curl I have chosen to update manually. So it's specifically I gave the curl. But instead, if I don't want to choose one by one, I want to update everything, I can give DNF update. And that's it it should tell me the total file size that it will take it will take 468 mb a very good uh, internet connectivity today it should not take more time actually it took more time than expected it took close to 35 minutes so 
maybe this is the first time we are upgrading in the local virtual machine maybe that could be the reason but it's quite long time let us again check the update dnf check update it should tell me there is nothing to update so basically everything else is installed and everything else is updated and that's it so we will be typing dn of list followed by the some options for instance if you need to list all the installed uh, dependencies or applications we will just say dn of list installed and dn of list auto remove so basically this is just to list followed by whatever option that we give let me clear the screen and i will give dn of list the option is installed so this should give me all the installed list let me clear this also basically linux contains uh, packages which comes from the os itself and also packages which we have installed so there are two packages uh, present one is the installed one the other is the available one currently we saw list installed so all the packages that are installed from a repository now we will see how to find the packages which are already available so for that we will use list available so i can say list available so there are so many these are all the packages that are available which comes with the os itself so we did not install them but these are all already available for us to be used and uh, let me clear this also so we saw dnf list dnf available so basically available and installed now we can also see out of all these ones uh, what are the recent packages that got changed dnf list recent so recent also is quite uh, quite limited so recently added packages now we have one more thing which is auto remove there is an option there is a, there is a command in dnf called as dnf auto remove which will remove all the unused packages and dependencies but before you remove them you can check what are the packages that will be removed in case you decide to use this command now let's check there is nothing so which means if i use dnf auto remove nothing will be removed because no dependency is uh, there which which is not used anymore and which can be removed so nothing is like we saw list similarly there is one more item called as repo list it will give us the list of all the repository links that we have added right here let's try dnf repo list so there's only uh, three repo list uh, one is appstream base ways and uh, extra so these three are always checked to ensure any new packages or dependencies are available or not in case you are going to search for some uh, package it will go to all the three repositories and then check whether some uh, packages available inside this repository or not now we are going to look at how we can search for a package in the repositories how we can install them and remove them the commands are very straightforward search you need to use the keyword search dnf search a package name in case you want to install that you need to do dnf install sometimes you would have installed something and it is not working correctly so you can go ahead with removing and then install or you can just say reinstall the same package and for removing it is directly removed so search install remove these are the frequently used commands along with dnf let me search for something we will start in mysql dnf search mysql when i give search what it will do it will go to the available repositories and then it will search for mysql so there it is sir. so mysql is present mysql.86 is there so as i said before anything before dot should be considered as a package name now let us search for something else let us search for dot net and we have dot net sdk dot net packages and everything what if we need to search for apache because apache does not the package name is not apache so let me search for apache and i got so many results 
Apache is Apache HTTP server is HTTP D. So in case I need to refine my search, DNF search Apache server. Now let me clear and run that again. This gives me HTTPD, which is Apache HTTP server. The remaining everything is uh, some kind of an additional uh, extras for HTTPD server. So in case I want to install uh, Apache server, I will just install HTTPD. DNF install HTTPD. It tells me that to install HTTPD, it will take 2 MB and after installation it will be 6 MB and there are lot of dependencies that I need to install as well. Do I need to proceed? Yes. And uh, this should be fast and if you could see this is present in the repository app stream directly. Let me go back once the installation is complete. When I searched for this uh, HTTPD, it tells me that the HTTPD is present in the app stream repository whereas uh, one of the dependency mail cap is present in the base OS repository. So that's how the repositories work. Currently as we have seen before we have three repositories in this uh, OS at present. In case there are some private repositories list that you have all you need to do is just add those repositories and uh, whenever you search for a package everything will be searched within those repositories. So let's clear and uh, let me try dnf list installed it should now show me httpd there we go httpd is here and uh, it is installed now okay that's how we install in case you need to reinstall you need to type reinstall httpd it tells me that we can reinstall HTTPD, but the download size is only 47 KB because it already downloaded the dependencies. It's only reinstalling the main package, which is the HTTPD. Now that's fine. That is how you reinstall in case something doesn't work or you want to uh, remove all the configurations and reinstall. That's how you do it. And remove it now. DNF remove HTTPD. So when I remove this HTTPD, it will remove all the dependencies as well because those dependencies are not used anywhere else. So let me give yes and it should remove httpd from my package list. Let's clear the screen dnf list installed. Now we should not see httpd. So we have d-e-f-g-h-i-h-i-j right h we don't have httpd anymore. Now so far we saw with uh, yeah, DNF, right? The dandified M, the latest version. We can try the same with M as well. It works like that. M repo list, M uh, search uh, MariaDB. It's all the same. We saw how this works in our local virtual machine. Let me try to open another putty and connect with the cloud server and see how it works. Okay. So, DNF, check, update. Wow, even in uh, our cloud server, we have some packages to be installed. Let us uh, DNF install. Sorry, it's not installed. DNF update. It's 200 MB. Why? Now, these downloads should be very fast. You see, uh, 35 MB, 35 MB. It's not like what happened in my local PC because in my local PC it took up to uh, 30 to 40 minutes to install everything. But there it is very fast. Even you could see that total speed is uh, for some of the items the speed is 17 MB and 20 MB per second. The reason is this is running in the cloud. This is not running in my local machine. This is not making use of my internet. Basically, I am giving the instructions and uh, the cloud server is utilizing the internet made available to the server in whichever internet the server is running. I'm just accessing the virtual machine and uh, letting it know that I need, I need these things to be installed. The installation was uh, quite fast. Let me clear the screen and then uh, we'll check DNF, check update. Now it should not have any update. 
12 let me clear again and uh, we will check uh, we will mix with m m repo list let's see what are the list that is being used to the same like that and not only this they have one more uh, because uh, in uh, my local machine i have only three they have a repo called app repo and uh, the repo id and name is app repo i believe uh, uh, they have already downloaded like when i say they the vulture uh, virtual machine the cloud service provider might have already downloaded all these packages and set up somewhere and uh, they have added this app repo uh, repository list that's that could also be the reason why everything is very fast it's not going externally maybe it is checking the files in their local uh, server itself and uh, let's try to install mariadb here yum search maria db and m maria db there are two things that you need to install you need to install maria db and then you will need to install maria db server as well i will go with m install before we install let us check whether it is available or not m list install and uh, if i go check uh, mnop and M does not have MariaDB, that's it. So let me clear the screen and type uh, DNF install MariaDB server. It says 19 MB, yes. And that's it. So we have installed MariaDB. Okay, so we install MariaDB, clear, and I will check MariaDB version. So MariaDB is installed, and yum list installed. It should now show me yum for Maria, and MariaDB is there, and MariaDB server is there. So that's how we use yum or DNF command to manage the packages and manage the patches for your Linux OS. Thank you.